To complete this project, you'll need an old satellite dish or dish of another sort, or you could use a parabola that you've made at home using cardboard uh, or another method, um, some tape with a reflective surface, um, ideally because it's attached um, on the back uh, with ready adhesive, so you can just stick it down. And you'll also need um, any tools you'll need to remove the brackets from the satellite dish. Brackets they are attached right. to this particular dish using M8 nuts. So we're going to remove those the spanner and just unscrew the nuts from the dish. And that will help us remove all the brackets. Once that's done, we can start covering the dish with the fill. So now we've removed the brackets from the front of the dish, we're going to start coating it uh, with the reflective film. You can do this in a number of ways. You can do it with tinfoil uh, or some uh, mylar sheeting that you might use for hydroponics. Uh, this particular uh, tape I've got um, is duct taping uh, that you use for sealing up ducts uh, on uh, things like heating pipes. And all we're going to do is it's a sticky back uh, tape, peel off one edge and we're going to slowly uh, smooth it over the edge of the dish until the dish is completely covered. It's important to note at this stage that you need to get the dish completely smooth and flat. So if there's any chips or marks in it, you want to rub those away uh, with some sandpaper um, because any imperfection will inhibit the performance of the uh, mirror later on. So now I'm going to start coating the dish with the aluminium uh, foil coating. All we're going to do here is measure out roughly the length of the dish uh, and then cut off that section and going to smooth it down. This will leave you with a bit of excess over the edge uh, which we can cut off later. I find the easiest way to do this is peel back the film slightly and we're going to work from the middle of the dish first. So just get stick the very edge onto the edge of the dish there and then smooth it down, pulling away the backing as we go. Just going to make sure you smooth out all of the creases and kinks as you move along the dish, otherwise these will create bubbles which will be harder to smooth out later. And we're just going to keep working down, as you can see, until we've covered the entire dish. So I'm nearly at the end of the first strip. All I'm using is a soft cloth just to help it smooth out the uh, tape as I go, because um, you just get less kinks and uh, it's also easier, easier than using your finger because it slides a bit easier. As you can see, progress isn't too slow should have the uh, whole dish done fairly soon. So we're going to move on to the second strip now. This one's going to cover the holes, we can just poke those out later with the screwdriver. Um, so all you need to do is exactly the same procedure, slight overlap and measure out the uh, slightly more than the whole uh, width of the dish. Um, tear it off and then we're going to do the next strip exactly the same fashion, just with a little bit of overlap. So we're about halfway there now. Uh, the uh, mirror tape has been attached uh, overlapped as you can see. Uh, in some places it's uh, quite well overlapped, in other places it's just uh, really on the edge. We're going to keep going until we've got all the way across the edge of the mirror. We've started from the middle because that's easiest to work out from until we get to the edge. If you'd started at one edge by the end you might be wasting a lot as you get across. So I've covered the entire dish now. Uh, you can see all the uh, surface area of the dish and um, it's completely covered in reflective film. What we're going to do now is go around the edge of the, um, the dish, cutting off all of the excess um, so we just don't get annoying reflection as we um, uh, shine it in the sun. Uh, then we're going to punch out the holes uh, and attach the um, bracket back through so we know where the focal point is. So all I'm doing now is uh, trimming off the excess, um, just using one side of a pair of scissors. Um, pushing away from uh, our body, cutting away all the time and just trimming off the excess material around the outside edge of the dish. And once that's trimmed, you can just, uh, just peel it away. And that will leave us with an edge like this all the way around. So all I'm going to do now is punch out the holes uh, back through the um, aluminium sheeting and reattach the bracket uh, because this is uh, a satellite dish. It's already perfectly made for the focal point uh, right at the front and that's where we can mount our target later on, um, whether that be a water heater or uh, just a target if you want to play with it, um, burning things in the sun. So we're just going to punch out the holes and um, reattach the, uh, 
the nuts through and, and hold on the um, the bracket again. I've got so we've uh, finished now, brackets attached back on again, and already you can see it's uh, much brighter than the lights above me, and also the light around on the floor, so once the sun comes out, uh, we'll uh, test the performance. So today we're testing the mirror for the first time. It's the 5th of December, and it's uh, about 11 in the morning, so we're going to see if we can um, get some smoke out of this, even though the sun is really low in the sky, and of course it is winter time, so exactly the sunniest time of the year, um, also in the south of England, so not exactly the uh, hottest place in the world. So what I'm doing here is I'm just focusing the light down onto the focal point, um, and we're getting some smoke, it's a good sign. So even at this time of year, we're still managing to burn a hole straight through a piece of cardboard. We are on a non-cloudy day today, but it's clearly effective throughout the year. So in summertime, I'm hoping this will be a lot better. I'll uh, provide some updates later on. The reason I'm wearing sunglasses is because the focal point is extremely bright. As you can see, certainly generating some heat.